What's up everybody? This is Jason from Night Owls Media and today I am doing an unboxing video of a brand new camera that I pre-ordered, the Fujifilm X-T4. Um, I've been super excited about this camera ever since I saw the specs come out. Um, I love the Fujifilm X-T3. Um, I've been following some videographers on Instagram and Facebook and I love the quality that the X-T3 had and um, after looking at all the specs online I fell in love but when the X-T4 released all their information, I I had to jump on the bad wagon, especially for the price. So this is brand new. I just got this in the mail. This is going to be an unboxing video for someone who normally doesn't do unboxing videos. So this is, again, the Fujifilm uh, X-T4. Now I'm not very good at showing you probably what you wanna see, but I'm gonna unbox this like I normally would, like as if I just got some cool gear and I wanna go through and see what's in the box. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Well, we're waiting. Here I am opening the box up. Oh, the amazing cards you get in magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the manuals that I will probably look at once and then forget I actually own. And then I'll find them in this bag someday and throw them away being like, I don't even own that camera anymore. Okay. Let's take a look at this and I will get to this in a second. But I'm the kind of kid at Christmas that I like to take everything out and look at everything individually. Um, but I want it in kind of a system. So that is the box. That is everything that's in the box. And Ooh, more cables. Okay. Um, a USB-C cable. That's nice. A USB-C to USB-C. That's really nice. That'll actually come in handy. Um, charger with a USB-C. Um, I don't see a battery charger. Whoa, that's that's a predicament. That's actually uh, kind of surprising. Uh, a quarter inch jack to USB-C and a battery. I was actually going to buy another battery for this, but I wasn't sure uh, when they would get here. Uh, I have a shoot next week to do a sushi restaurant video but I wasn't sure if I was gonna have this camera in time because like they pushed the release date back about a month because it was originally supposed to come out April 30th and now today is May 19th, so you know, two and a half weeks. Um, cool straps, I always like straps. Uh, usually I attach them to my tripods and stuff like that. Oh, that's actually nice. It actually feels really nice. It's, it's like really heavy padding. Look at that. That's that's really pretty. I like the black on black. I think that that's like super classy. And I think anyone in, in doing a event video or professional video loves uh, non-color. <laughs> we love the black. This is the new Fujifilm battery. I heard that this one is different than the X-T3 um, battery. So this one, I'm really good about remembering numbers and names. So let's look at that real quick. Let's see the... Uh, NPW235. This is the new battery. It's a longer life battery. Uh, it says online you can get like 500 shots versus 320 shots. Um, a wall plug with the wall plug adapter. That's cool, I guess. Um, I guess, yeah, like, so you can like order different stuff and get them wherever you want around on the world. Uh, I like stuff like this because this allows you to, like, no matter where I travel to shoot, it allows me to have stuff. And the quarter inch jack to, or the, the 3 fifths, 3.5 jack to the USB-C, I'm just going to hold in the plastic for the time being because I'm not going to use it. And then here is the birthday present, the creme de la creme. <laughs> it's actually so new, um, I went to go get a screen protector for it and Amazon doesn't sell them yet so I'm actually stoked about that god look at that eyepiece man that eyepiece is big that'll be nice to like look through when I'm shooting that's super nice oh that's neat to keep it quiet this is one of those things that I 
never really considered until I started shooting weddings. And then these little tabs on the side that hold the strap onto it. These are noisy as hell when you're walking around a church and you're trying to be super quiet. That's also why I used to wear uh, like skateboard sneakers um, because I never made a sound coming around a church. <gasps> God, I love the brand new screen. God, that is that is so much like this is everything coming from someone who shoots um, Sony AS7 II and AS7 A. A7S2 and A7 III. Uh, having this this flip out screen, man, that is that is game changing right there. Um, and it feels like like an old camera, like one of my old Olympus cameras or something. View mode. Look at all that. God, this looks beautiful. Ooh. Mm. One of the things that really intrigues me about this camera is the IBIS and the um, extreme high video quality. So I'm actually excited. I'm super excited to get to playing with, with this. Let's see how much, how much of the battery actually has life. And that's a, that's a big no right there. That battery comes with no life whatsoever. But I do like... I love trying new cameras. I love figuring everything out. Well, that's interesting. Uh, it'll never be set to auto. So what else do you want to like watch when you're watching a, oh, that's kind of nice. So like on a Sony, uh, body cam on a Sony body right here or even on a Canon body you have to like pull back and what happens is that rubber mat right here always like rips off every camera I own this piece right here has ripped off because when you're shooting in a day you gotta switch stuff out so you're doing it pretty quick but this is kind of nice because it's got like a little lock door here that you just trip open and this is one of the other things I was super excited about um, this camera was the dual cameras the dual uh, SD slots that's nice. And I know it's a small thing, but man, it, it is just a, a nice, nice feature like the, okay, I figured it out because I'm super smart. Uh, you got the, looks like a USB, USB-C and a uh, HDMI D port, which is really nice. I'm really glad because that's the same kind of hookup as my Sony's. And here you have a mic and a remote. Well, I am uh, super excited to try this, but I can't even turn it on yet because the battery came dead. So yay, new camera, I'm super excited. Um, and then I'm gonna be shooting with this next week, so I'll have something to show in about uh, two or three weeks. So super excited, oh my God. And it's light too. Like it, it, it's like heavy enough that it actually makes you feel like like you're holding the camera, but I think, I mean, look how small it is in my hand. Can you, can you see this? Like, so that's the very top of the grip right there and the fingers. And like, I just, it's so small. Like I, I'm definitely going to need to buy the battery grip for this to be a viable camera. Um, I hate it when it's too small. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and then what would you like to see me do? I'm super stoked to try it out. I bought an adapter for this. I'm gonna go put the adapter on. So be, before I actually try to do anything, I really wanna say not having a battery charger, that's a huge deal breaker for me. That really sucks. Um, I read about something like that online, but uh, I, I didn't think anyone would actually send a camera out without a battery charger. That just seems really backwards thinking yeah that's a that's a bad decision on Fujifilm's part but um, let's see how it actually plays out <laughs> 